going on YouTube? The Apophis here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little kill confirmed. That's right, kill confirmed. Something I don't usually play very often, but I am. I have no idea what the hell is going on in this game. I don't really know the spawn points for kill confirmed. I don't really know the traffic patterns for kill confirmed. So it does start off a little slow. And I, for that, I apologize, but it will pick up, I promise. And overall, I feel like I did pretty okay in this game now before I really get into talking today I kinda wanted to know your thoughts and opinions on uh, on that score bar that I have on top of the video right now at the top of the screen you know keeps tracking my kills and deaths throughout the game gives you immediate visual feedback what do you think about it do you like it do you not like it let me know what you do or don't like about it is it too big are the colors ugly is it gaudy um, does it does it take away from the video? Does it add to the video? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section below. Now that that's out of the way, we can get right on into today's topic, and that is crybaby ass YouTube commentators lately, really. And it's nobody that I have a personal relationship with, and it's nobody really in specific. But I feel like a lot of videos I've seen lately are like these smaller channels trying to eye fly another big channel now if you're not familiar with the youtube drama that has happened over the past six six to eight months then you won't know who i fly is basically he called out a bigger youtuber for being a fraud and uh he did a very good job at it and the video was huge it kind of went viral for him and in the long run it got him his 10 minutes of fame now, for some reason, it seems like all of a sudden, lately, it's been just this constant attack on bigger YouTubers from small guys. And they're, it, it's funny to me because it seems like everyone that's doing it is going, I'm not trying to be another iFly. Shut up. Yes, you are. Like, if you're going to do this shit, right, if you're going to go out of your way to try to slander somebody's channel, to try to claim oh, they're a money whore or they fucking steal content or they cheated on gameplay or whatever. If you're going to go out of the way to claim all of that, at least man up and admit that you're trying to be the next iFly. There's no other reason for you, somebody who's got, I don't know, 10,000 subs or less, there's no reason for you to put out a video calling out a bigger YouTuber unless you expect to gain the instant overnight iFly fame. Just admit to it. I think that is cowardly and it's weak sauce, man. It's really weak to sit there and be that jealous over somebody's success that you got to call them out in hopes that you can get a couple subs out of it and maybe have one video go viral. Don't you think that it's a little worse than like cheating for gameplay? Hey, that's pretty bad, right? We all like to keep the integrity of the game, but... I think calling somebody out just because they're successful and you're not is worse than cheating on gameplay. Gaining fame because you were a dick to somebody, I don't think is is an honorable way to gain your fame or to further your channel or to move your YouTube career forward. That's not an, a, a good way to go about it at all, in all honesty, in, in my opinion. And I think it's pretty fucking weak to begin with. Um, especially when you're too damn scared to admit why you're doing it and you think that you're being some white knight of the YouTube community and calling everybody out. And in all honesty, it's, it's not even just in the gaming community. Kind of, sort of. I, I saw one about FPS Russia the other day about him being called out as a fraud. and They're doing all they can to spill the beans about, you know, the whole FPS Russia Kyle thing. They're like doing all they can to just break all of the characters out of the bag and just really slander the guy and whether or not he cheated for gameplay I don't really care the fact of the matter is, is he's admitted to doing it so at least he manned up I really don't care but I don't see a point for you to make the video attacking him I, I really don't what are you going to gain and it the only reason I bring this up is as I said I've been seeing so much of it lately so much of it that it's just driving me nuts I feel bad for the people. I really do. If if you are so narrow-minded, if you are so uncreative that you need to do that in order to make content, maybe, just maybe, 
you should sell your PVR, sell your microphone, and, and just hang it up, man. If you have to do that to create content, that's low, and that means you, you're not creative enough. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with not being creative enough. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's hard to be creative every, every fucking day. It really, truly is. Nobody's going to look down on you for just hanging it up. But don't. Don't run around and be a little bitch about it. And call people out. And then hide behind whatever, or at least lie for your reasons for doing it. You're not gaining anything by doing it. You're trying to bring somebody down. Stop hating on people's success. It doesn't affect you. That's the other thing to the whole fucking equation. If White Boy 7th Street puts out a video, it gets 300,000 views. That doesn't fucking affect me one bit. I'm sure those 300,000 those 300, views... Those 300,000 people probably watch more than one video a day. So I could very well get two or three views out of that 300,000 view pool. He didn't take any views away from me. The fact of the matter is my videos get the views that I earn. If I earn 100 views on a video, if the video is good enough for 100 views, I'll get it. If the video is poor, I might get 15 views. But I earn every one of those views. Same with White Boy. He earns all 300,000 of those views. Same with Woody. If he puts out a video and gets 100,000 views, it doesn't affect me. It has zero impact on my channel. Nothing that, that goes on on these bigger YouTubers' channel have anything to do with me. They're not stealing my views. How many, how many YouTube videos did you watch today? Think about it. How many vid YouTube videos did you watch today? Four? Five, maybe? Some days you probably watch double or triple that. Other days you probably watch significantly less than that. The fact of the matter is, when you watch a video, you're not clicking on a video going, yes, I'm stealing views from the smaller guys because I'm watching a big guy's channel. No, you just fucking watch the content you enjoy. What goes on on these channels that are bigger than me, that are bigger than, you know, 100,000 subs, does not impact us. To be honest with you, the smaller channels are who's competing, right? And, and that's not even the competition because the smaller channels are helping each other out. All of this made up bullshit drama that seems to be going on. And it's just like it. I made a video like three weeks ago saying, oh shit, where's all the drama going? Because it kind of stopped. But it seems like now all I'm seeing is everybody is just trying to bring fps russia down woody down it seems like no, and hell people even go after wings too and i don't know why because he's got enough problems of his own he doesn't need your shit on top of it and i'm not trying to sit here and stand up for these guys i'm really not do i think they should be left alone yes i truly do i i honestly do think they should be left alone because they're not bugging anybody and they're just doing their own fucking thing and the fact of the matter is, is nobody is forcing anybody to watch their content. If you watch a video from them, you're doing it on your own free will. Just like nobody's forcing anybody to watch my content or your content. People do it on their own free will. Does that mean that we should be harassed? Should we be harassed because we don't get a shit ton of views? Because I'm not pulling in 300,000 views a video, should, you, should people harass me? No, they shouldn't. They should just leave me alone. Let me do my thing. I think the same applies, man. If you're a bigger YouTuber, you should be left alone. I'm not trying to stick up for them. I'm really not. But I, just, I don't think they deserve the bullshit that's going on. I really don't. And I, I, I think it's a, coward, a cowardly attempt at building an audience. And here's the other problem with it. Okay? This same shit happened to iFly. iFly calls out Raw Instinct. Goes boom. His channel was growing faster than Justin Bieber's at one point in time. He just blew up because of this Raw Instinct shit. But now look at him. He's gone. Not even on YouTube anymore. His, his audience grew super quick. And then it died super fast. Because they expected the same type of video over and over and over again. He would need to call somebody out every week in order to keep the people interested in him. And he just didn't do that. He was That wasn't the premise of his channel. And I don't think that he was trying to call Raw Instinct out for instant fame. But the backlash is, is he got the instant fame. And now it seems like that's the tactic. Is you gotta put somebody on blast to get anywhere. 
And I just think that's bullshit. You're going to end up just like I fly if you do that. You're going to do something that's going to come back to bite you in the ass. And then your channel's going to fold because your fucking life gets ruined. Because you got your dick flopping out on the internet and people found it. So don't be a douchebag. And if you are one of these small channels doing that, man, grow the fuck up. And if you're somebody that's thinking about doing it, just don't, man. Just don't. And if you do, at least admit you're trying to be the next iFly. All right, guys, two videos on the screen you might have missed. Click them. Bam, they open in a new window. Big yellow subscribe button. Hey, if you missed the big yellow one in the middle of the screen through the whole video, go ahead and click that one in the top right. As always, follow me on Twitter to find out what's going on, what I'm working on. My random ass tweets, um, they go out on Twitter. If you want to stop by to say hi, tweet me. That's the best place to get a hold of me. I, I honestly do respond, and I do respond to comments. So don't be afraid to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It really, truly means everything to me that you gave me 10 minutes out of your day. Well, 11 minutes and 7 seconds at this point out of your day to come and watch my content. In the meantime, don't let a monkey fuck your dog, and have a nice day.